Welcome back to Skibbity Tech. If you're looking to enable JIT on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 17 and 18, I've got exciting news. In today's video, I'll be showing you the latest and easiest way to enable JIT using Sidey JIT Server. No jailbreak required, and this method works like a charm for emulators, UTM virtual machines, Pojav launcher, and more. Before we dive in, let me quickly explain what JIT is and why it's essential. JIT, or just-in-time compilation, boosts the performance of emulators like Dolphin, PPSSPP, and virtual machines running Android or Windows on iOS. Without JIT enabled, these apps struggle to perform smoothly. With Sidey JIT Server, you can now unleash the full potential of these apps on your iPhone or iPad running the latest iOS 17 and 18. First of all, you need to have Side Store in your iOS device. I already made a video on it. I will put the link in the description. Make sure download all the other apps like iTunes and iCloud in your computer as well. Plus, you need to download and install Python as well in your computer. Once you are done with Side Store and Python, now simply open the SideJIT server GitHub page. Now open PowerShell and run it as administrator. Now copy the command pip3 install SideJIT server from the SideJIT server GitHub page and paste it in the PowerShell and hit enter. It will take some time to install all files. Once all files downloaded successfully, now simply close the PowerShell and connect your iOS device to your computer, then copy the second command from the SideJIT server GitHub page and then open PowShell again. Now paste the second command in the PowShell and hit enter. Then it will try to connect it with your iOS device. Hit trust on your iOS device and then type Y in the PowerShell and hit enter. Now you will see side JIT server will start working, but sometimes you get errors in the PowerShell also. So let me show you how to fix that error. Simply close the PowShell and then run CMD as administrator. Then paste the second command in it and hit enter. Then type Y and hit enter. Now you will see SideJIT server start running, but you will see, in CMD, it will also give you error. Now don't close the CMD and then open PowerShell and run it as administrator. Now again paste the second command in PowerShell and then hit enter. Then type Y and hit enter. And this time you will see that SideJIT server will start running without any errors. Now simply write your unit of your device and then your server address. Now you can simply disconnect your device from your computer, but keep PowerShell running on your computer. Now open this website in your iPhone and then hit on get your UDID now and then hit download and then allow to download the profile. 
then open settings and then open downloaded profile and hit install to install the profile. Now simply copy the UDID of your device. Now open the SideJIT server GitHub page on your iOS device and then scroll down and then hit on install shortcut link and then hit open. Make sure you install the shortcut app in your iOS device. Now hit on set up shortcut. Then paste your UDID and then hit next. Now write SideJIT server address and hit add shortcut. After adding the shortcut, now hit on shortcuts and simply hit on SideJIT shortcut and then hit allow. Now simply choose the app you want to enable JIT. Then simply hit allow and then you will see the SideJIT will enable JIT for your app. If you run into any issues, here are a few tips. Check your network, ensure both your iPhone and PC or Mac are on the same Wi-Fi network. And that's it, you now have JIT enabled on your iPhone or iPad running iOS 17 and 18 with the new Sidey JIT server method. This opens up endless possibilities for gaming, virtual machines, and more on iOS. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest iOS tips and tricks. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.